Hey there everyone, um, thanks for tuning in. I'm Carrie with Any Day Blessings and today I have a couple things for you. First of all, I would like to start off my video uh, the way I used to when I started this channel, which is with a blessing. And the blessing for today is very closely tied to the science curriculum I'm going to show you here in just a bit. So my blessing that I want to share with you to encourage you all to be thankful and allow thankfulness to transform your everyday is that the Lord has really provided this year for us in an extra abundant way for our homeschool. Um, I can't tell you the number of things that I've gotten for free or dramatically reduced or, you know, I have won a giveaway or some, you know, something like that where I, I really don't think I've spent a hundred dollars yet on everything that we'll need for third grade. I, I, I think we're under a hundred. Um, now, of course, that'll change when I order my distance learning course because I do enjoy having at least one course from BJU Press. I'd love to have more, but um, we can only afford one. And so once I add that in, of course, it will go over that mark. But I just was really incredibly thankful and wanted to share that blessing with you all because I'm super thankful for it. And I'm sure many of you have seen uh, the Lord's uh, hand of faithfulness in your own homeschool as he provides for you. And you should take time today and be thankful for that. Okay, so heading into um, the topic at hand, you know, the, the, the topic of this video, I have chosen our science curriculum. We actually chose it way back in the fall because my son saw this book as I was researching it and checking it out as a possible option and he just lashed onto it. He said, this is it mom, I wanna do this science. He actually wanted to start it now and I said, well let's finish what we have because I knew it would be a while before I could pick this up financially and um, I, I knew I had some prep work to do for this course. So I'm gonna show you what we've chosen and what I would like to do is I'm not really familiar with this company. This is the first course that I will be taking uh, or that I will be teaching with this company. And um, I'm a little bit unsure of what I found so far in the material and I'm not really sure how to use it. So I'm also looking for anyone who has used Apologia Exploring Creation with Chemistry and Physics. And I have the junior notebook as well. Um, anyone that has used this, please stay tuned because I'm going to be asking for some feedback from you all uh, to help me out. But I'm going to give you my first impressions, how we plan to use it. I'm going to show you inside just a little bit, not that much. I will do a complete flip through and review for you once we have actually been in it and used it a bit. But for now, this is just going to be a preview of, of what my first impressions are, the things that just caught my eye and that I noticed right away and then how we plan to use it, and then I'm gonna ask you guys for some feedback. Before I hop into all that though, because this is March and many people are shopping for homeschool curriculum, I have found a couple more deals I wanted to share with you all real quick. In fact, um, like I said at the beginning, it has a lot to do with my science curriculum. So first of all, before I get to that deal, I wanted to let you know that there is a online convention of sorts, it's called Homeschool Summits. And it's going on right now, so if you're, if you're watching this video as I post it, the week of March 25th-ish, I don't know what Monday was, but the, whatever this week is, <laughs> look at the date on the video, it's this week. They are doing an online, basically, convention of sorts. There's dozens of speakers, there's giveaways, there's uh, a lot of interaction posts with other homeschool moms, so please check that out, Homeschool Summits on Facebook. Uh, yesterday, they gave away a $100 gift a gift certificate to IEW, so that was really exciting. Today's giveaway is an entire Apologia course, so that's pretty cool. Um, high school or elementary, I think. I think they're giving away two, two sets, actually. So head over there and catch some great speakers, catch those giveaway opportunities. Wanted to pass that along to you. Homeschool Summits on Facebook, okay? The second thing I wanted to pass along is that... Um, I have discovered another way to use you know, apps and things like that to get stuff for our homeschool for free or like greatly reduced. This book here re retails around $35 to $40, I guess, depending on where you're looking. And um, 
I actually found this on Amazon for 37 I think was the retail price. It's brand new. It's not a used book. But someone told me about Quick Thoughts. I don't know. I'm late to the game probably with it. Maybe many of you know about it. But it's an app that you just answer survey questions. You just take surveys and as you complete the surveys, it pays you a dollar in Amazon credit. Once you get $10 in credit, you can cash out and apply that credit towards your Amazon purchases. So in one week of using this app and just taking the surveys that I qualified for, because you don't qualify for all of them, but just in taking the surveys that I qualified for, I received $30 in Amazon credit. And I just cashed out and uh, applied it to my Amazon account, no problem at all. They just give you a little code. Uh, you don't have to wait for a gift card to come in the mail. And I got this book for about $7 in tax, whatever that was. So that was good. And then this one here, I actually got, I did a separate video on this. I will uh, put a card up above with um, that video if you're interested in it. But this one here I got for I think under $9. Um, and I actually just figured out a way I could have even saved more on this because the site that I used to get this on was Textbook Rush. And there's also a site called textbooks.com and there's a site, of course you're probably familiar with A-Books. Um, and there's some other book sites too that are all part of the Ebates program. And so if you have an Ebates account, you know that you can do your online shopping and start at the Ebates site and then go to the retailer that you want from their site and it tracks your purchase and then gives you a percentage of it back. Well, I just discovered that textbooks.com and A Books and a handful of other book retailers are on Ebates. They're part of the list of retailers that you can get cash back from your purchases. So I've started uh, looking for homeschool curriculum at some of their vendors and sure enough, they have some of the things that I need. So just another way that you can uh, find a deal because ebooks and textbooks.com are usually used books, so they're discounted books, but then you can get cash back on that purchase. So that's how I bought these books with some of those deals. Okay, so it directly relates to how I got these books. I probably wouldn't have been able to afford to get the notebook and the textbook together uh, if I was buying new, like from Apologia or even ChristianBook.com. But um, using like these little tricks, <laughs> I was able to get this whole course for right around 16-ish dollars and, and that's pretty great. So, and it's brand new, it's not used. So, wanted to share those little tips with you before I get into um, really talking about Apologia much, but also, if you're watching this as I'm posting, ChristianBook.com does have Apologia on sale right now, 35% off. So, if you are looking to still get an Apologia course, you can head over to ChristianBook.com. Again, if you're watching this um, kind of in real time as I'm posting it. Okay, so all of that aside, I just wanted to share those deals with you because it is March and we are shopping for homeschool curriculum. I want to get into now uh, telling you my first impressions of this Apologia course. So. The very first thing I did, well, I read the um, the intro information here um, at the beginning, oh, not this page, how to teach this course page. I read this how to teach this course page, okay? And in this little section, I would really recommend that you read this because there's no teacher's guide. It's just this book and then the student workbook. I would really recommend that you read that um, introduction section, how to teach this course, because in it, it says multiple times and in different, in different ways, you find the right amount of material to present to your child in a given day. There is a suggested schedule, but you know how much to give your child. This course is um, written with the intent of using it for multiple ages, K to six. And if your oldest is only in second grade, you're not going to probably follow their suggested schedule. If you have an older child who's in fifth or sixth grade, you might want to follow this suggested schedule, but my first impression is that their suggested schedule for one day is really too much for anyone in like the K to three, K to four range. It's just too much. I'm going to show you what I mean by that, and I'm going to also show you um, uh, how we're going to break it up because the way that they have you doing this, okay, for one day, they have you reading seven six or seven pages of text. So here's the reading for day one. I think it goes up to page 23. Hey, let me look. I, don't, I took off my glasses for this video, so now I have to really hold everything close to me. 
because I noticed that in my videos it creates this like distracting glare over my face and um, who wants that? Alright, so I took off my glasses but now I can't really see. So this is what you would read on day one. This, all of this, all of this, and this up until this, this section right here. So you would read all the way to here, okay? That's what you're reading on day one according to their schedule. In addition to all that reading, you are doing two experiment boxes, this one here and this one here, two experiments. You are doing, or they suggest that you do, the, um, see I'm as blind as a bat, you guys. This is uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, four worksheets. One coloring page here, one here, a little journaling activity where you uh, have the child journal and draw things that they learned, fascinating facts, and this page here too. Now, this is for K to six. When I read that, I thought, what did I just buy? Because I remember looking this over and thinking, okay, there are clear breaks in the reading and I could clearly see what would be a day. But then when I saw their schedule and how much is, is, is allotted in one day, I thought, there's no way that anyone's doing this for like K to three. And so I would like to know if you're using this, does it go quicker than what I'm imagining in my head? Do you really read according to the, the schedule in the notebook? Because I, I think that that's geared more towards the fifth and sixth graders. I can't imagine that that's for the younger half. Um, and, and apology in their resources, they do actually say that, 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 that the younger kiddos are going to do less. But I would just like to hear from some homeschool moms who have used this curriculum and maybe not even this particular Apologia program. Maybe you've used the Anatomy One or you've used um, one of the animals of the fifth or sixth day or the, you know, whatever, the days that they have. What, what do you, do you follow this schedule? And if you do, what ages are you using this for? Because I can't imagine doing that much for a kindergarten. The other thing I noticed was um, that we're going to be doing this for third grade, so we're kind of going to be in the middle. But the other thing I noticed was like, okay, on day two, week two, okay, they pretty much have you do a ton of worksheets and, and like hands-on projects. Like you do a ton of reading on day one and day two in week one. And then you do pretty much all of the hands-on stuff, like the worksheets in week two. Like I would, I would think it would maybe be a little more balanced, have a little less reading in day one and add in, a, add in some worksheets. I don't know. So I'm completely going to, I'm not going to use their schedule. Unless you all tell me to do it, it's, it's not that bad. Just go ahead and do it for a few weeks and try it out. Because I just think that's going to be so much. So this is what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I am going to have my, well, I'm actually going to read it to my, my child, but I'm going to read, and I thought about getting the audio CD. Also, let me know below if you use the audio CD because I'm also thinking of that as well. Um, that might help a little bit. But I'm also, uh, well, for right now, I'm planning to read. Okay, so I'm going to read until I get to the first blue box. And then we're going to do the blue box and go and do one or two worksheets. And that's gonna be our day. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna read until we get to the next blue box. Try this. Oh, I think I have a visitor. I have a visitor. You wanna come in while mommy does her video? No. Oh dear, I think we have I a problem. I want to play though. <laughs> I, I want to play though. Okay, well, can you sit right here with mommy until I finish my video? Okay. And then and then we will go to Play-Doh. Okay, are you gonna, here, do you wanna see, you wanna see yourself? Okay, hold on one second. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to basically read, I've, I've been looking ahead and it looks like there's a good section of reading and then a try this experiment. So I think that's what I'm going to do and not really pay attention to how long it takes us because he's really interested in it. So I think he's going to want to do every little thing. And so after then we do the reading and one blue box will come here and do a worksheet. Now this is the other question I have for you. If you've used the program or even if you've looked at it, um, 
and maybe have a better sense of this than I do. There's a page in the in the workbook, not in the or in the journal, I guess they call it. It's not in the book, it's in the journal here, and it's called Test It Out. And they have like three or four other experiments or activities you could do. Are you making faces at the camera? Yeah. And then they have some book suggestion read alouds. How do you incorporate those? Do you add those on on a completely different day? Do you skip them? Do you do them sometimes? Do you don't do them sometimes? Because again, my, my child will enjoy all of this. I was looking at these. I looked at a couple lessons and I looked at their tested out pages. He's going to love doing all those things. So I'm just wondering how you break this up for a child who's like in the third grade range, you know, because I can't imagine doing it as scheduled, but I can imagine doing all of these projects just in a much more spaced out way. One last thing I'm thinking of doing. In the back here, it has these little flip books. You've probably seen them on other videos. And again, I will do a more complete walkthrough of this. Um, at a later time once we've actually used it. But there are these like little flip books that you create. So you would cut this out and fold it over and then on the reverse side are places for you to write some things that you've learned and you create these little flip books. What I was thinking of doing is instead of having my child make those, I was thinking of making those ahead of time as a teaching visual. So going back to the back, cause that just in my mind, um, is going to be having him write the same things down that he's already written down on that fascinating facts sheet, right? So I was thinking what I could do is maybe make the little book up myself and use it or whatever it is. Sometimes it's like a little wheel, like this looks like it's going to be a little wheel, I think. It's just going to be a wheel. <laughs> and use that almost as like a teach, like I said, a teaching visual. So those are my thoughts, my first impressions. I am excited beyond all get out to use this because my son's excited. There's a ton of experiments in here. We are experiment people, so that fits us well. And I'm, I'm beyond excited. I'm in no way complaining about it. I'm just looking for how to make it work, how to implement it a little bit. Um, we're going to love doing it. I know, I'm really confident the famous last words. I hope not, but <laughs> um, I just need a little guidance on how, to, how others are, are doing it. So if you have used it, or, or any uh, Apologia curriculum, let me know below how you break this up for a younger elementary age kiddo. You want to say goodbye? Say bye-bye. 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 We'll see you later. We're off to play Play-Doh, I guess. Take care. Bye-bye.